Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to talk about the function decorator in Python. So I'll explain you function decorator in simple language. That suppose we have a function. Suppose we have a function uh, for hello. And we are printing hello world in this. And we are printing two times hello world in this. Okay. Now we have to uh, then I'll call the uh, function. Here, see, hello world is printing two times. Okay. Now I want to make modification in this function that I want to show a, a good morning also. But I couldn't do here. Uh, suppose I couldn't do it here because it is not accessible to me. Sometime it will happen that file is not present in uh, in your location. It is present somewhere else. You are importing that file. And you are not accessible to her file. So suppose you want, uh, you have to make modification in exactly this function. So how you will do it? So for that we have to use function decorator. So basically what happens? You will call this function in another function as a parameter, and then you will make modification there. And when you will call this function hello, then uh, that modification will also get printed. So suppose I want to add a good morning here but not here i'll use function decorator so how i'll use so i'll create a function greet then i'll create a nested function that is inside the greet function so i'll give the name inner and then i'm going to uh, print good morning here okay then what I'll do, I'll just return and we have to give parameter here. So we can give the parameter hello here, our function name and then we'll return hello function. Okay. And then we are going to return after coming from this, coming out from this inner function, we'll return inner. Okay. That's good. Now. Now, when we'll print it, I hope good morning should get printed. So you'll see that good morning is not getting printed because we didn't make the connection. We have didn't establish the connection between these two functions. Means now this is a, a different function and this is a different function. So we have to make the connection. So for the connection, we can uh, we have to just simply write at the rate and greet here. And when we'll do it, and when we'll execute, uh, we are calling hello here. So you will see good morning has been printed. Now I want to uh, give this good morning after this hello two times hello worlds. So for that what we can do we just simply make this uh, print good morning downwards the return hello and when we will print it you will see that good morning is not getting returned because we have returned hello and after returning the function hello it will not take any function or it will not take anything so we uh, so we'll call the function hello first so because we want this uh, hello worlds earlier this good morning so we'll call the function first and we do not return it because after returning it will go out of the function so we doesn't want that it will uh, it to go out of the function so for that we will call the function here normally and then we'll print good morning and when we'll print it you'll see that good morning is printing after hello world okay this was one now we'll take that uh, we'll take two parameters for adding uh, for making the addition so for that stuff so, uh, we'll create the base base function first and we'll store the re the result of this two sums into a result variable and then we are going to print it using the f string you are we are going to print that the addition of then we're going to give num1 and num2 is the result okay and now we will simply call our add function now what we want we want to take the input now this is the base that it is saying that 
there are two pair numbers num1 and num2 and it will get added and result will get stored in result and then it will it will get printed now we want to take input from the user so for that we couldn't do it in this function we don't want to do it in this function so for that we will use the function decorator and then we have to give so, so a function and then i'm going to take our function as a parameter here and then we'll take a nested function inner and here we are going to take the input so we are going to take input in floats and then we are going to and print enter the first number and then we'll simply copy paste it to reduce time so reduce time taking and here you'll see we have taken two inputs for num1 and num2 then what we'll do we'll just simply return our uh, original function add okay and now coming out of it we'll return our inner function and here we are returning it and then we'll establish the connection so for that we have to just simply write at the rate and then and then give the name of the this decorator function and when we'll call it so it is asking for enter the first number so we'll give the first number suppose 5.34 and the second number 4.67 so it is showing error because here also we have to pass the uh these values these two values this num1 and num2 we have to pass here so that it will know that what uh number we have to take in so here we didn't give it so that it doesn't know what to do with that number and where to store that number so now this uh when we'll when we are giving num1 and num2 then it will know that the num1 and num2 will go in this and then the result will be printed adding so when we'll run this you'll see 5.67 and we'll give 4.34 and now the result is sum of 5.67 and 4.34 is 10.01 okay now we are going to make uh take another example for subtracting two numbers by taking uh two parameters and then two parameter for the numbers and what we are going to add in this function that we are we will check that if num1 is greater than num2 then it will be a normal subtraction but if the second number is uh, greater than the first number then second number will subtract the first number and the result will be printed means the greater number will always be at the top and the bottom number will be get subtracted so okay we'll make our function so for that we'll first we'll take two parameters num1 and num2 and then we are going to store the result in the result variable and we are going to simply minus num1 num2 and then we'll print that subtraction of num1 num2 is result and we are using f string here so we'll write f string okay now we'll just simply call our function and now we have to give the condition and take input so for that we'll create a decorator function and we'll give the name smart sub because it is smarter than this base sub and then inside this function we are going to take uh, our function as parameter so it is not compulsory to write this name only you can give any other name so suppose this time i'm giving uh, any function just f u n c for function taking as input then we'll create a nested function inner and then inside it we'll take input now this time we want in integer format will take input using the integer function and then we'll simple simply say 
enter the first number then we'll say enter the second number num2 and now we have to give a condition that if num1 is smaller than num2 to do what interchange the values so for that we know how to interchange it so we'll just interchange num1 and num2 with num2 and num1 okay and then we are going to return first we'll return the our function by giving our inputs num1 and num2 and then we'll return our inner function and now we'll establish the connection by giving the name of the decorator function smart sub and all set we'll execute the code it is asking for entering the first number so we'll give four here and it is asking for the second number so we'll give eight here uh, when we'll do the subtraction you can see that subtraction of eight and four is four means we have given the first number smaller and the second number greater but then also it is subtracting from the greater number to the smaller number due to this condition so i hope you have understand this so thank you for watching the video this was the function decorator so